Module 5 deals with grit and resiliency. Uh, we've uh, talked a little bit about this in previous modules in other parts of learning strategies, but yeah, kind of developing that, that the ability to get up off the mat and to come back and to kind of work. Um, it's a tough one and some people are naturally like that and you know some people have to work on developing it. So you know sports is great because it reveals character and where, where you are currently at. You know if you're a 50% shooter in basketball and you miss your first five shots are you the person that starts doing that as I say the palms up? Are you uh wait till you see the next five they're all going in. Um, it's kind of that mindset. So there's some articles here that I want you to read about and uh, read the articles, answer the questions, kind of go through and kind of get some exemplars there to kind of get your, your head around what is grit, what is resiliency, what is the ability to bounce back. Uh, and then the final part will be a project which will be in the next video, okay? All right, so final project for module five, we'll be looking at kind of some key uh, people in our world, uh, historical, some are still alive, uh, historically, some of the cool people that have really displayed resiliency. We have some people that are currently still alive that are, you know, great examples of, uh, you know, how to have that grit that we're talking about. So you'll notice that part one will have a key component where you kind of develop uh, four traits. So four common traits that you believe are essential uh, to be considered resilient. Um, so have a look at that and kind of go through, develop. And you know what? This is a green light activity. You're more than welcome to use AI on this one. Uh, you know, hey, what are four characteristics of somebody that's resilient and kind of, you know, maybe ask for 10 and then pick four that you think, um, you know, are the best examples of, you know, somebody that's got that kind of passion and grit. Part two will be the analysis and application part. As you can see here, it's using the four common traits. I explain how the person meets that or in some cases maybe doesn't meet that all. Just because they meet one or two of them doesn't mean they meet all four of your criteria that you've kind of looked at. So once you've picked your person, you kind of go, is this actually applicable for them? All right. So part two uh, looks like the analysis and application. Part three is the presentation part. You have two options. Uh, you can kind of meet and discuss and go over this in person with uh, your teacher. That can be on a G meet, that can be um, you know in person in the AAC or an outreach. Uh, you let us know. That's one option there. Option two will be you prepare some type of presentation uh, where you're putting it together. Uh, it could be a project of your own design. So there's kind of the criteria there. Whatever is easiest for you, my friends, you can get that done. All right. And finally, what we need you to do is look at the inspirational figures from around the world uh, in Canada. Here's just a list. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with all of these ones, but guess what? I used AI to generate a whole list for you, and these are the ones that they suggested. There was a couple I took out, there's a couple I added in, but for the most part, you know, there's an example of using AI as a tool. So yeah, go around, have a look. Uh, is there somebody there that, that, that might work for you and kind of have an idea, all right? And finally, uh, you're either gonna just remember you have to present uh, in some form, so it can be either in person, you can be on a Gmeet, or you can build your presentation of your choice uh, and submit it, and then you are done module five. So as long as there's been no problems and modules one through five are successfully done uh, and meet our criteria of you know authentic learning, uh, you're good to go, which means you now have your performance task. And if I can give you one last little bit of advice uh, before you enter this uh, performance task is that the resiliency part sure seems important uh, to the designer of this course and maybe that might be something you want to kind of remember before you go in to complete your performance task and finish up the course. Um, so maybe just something you want to review.